Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've done a setup update, but I thought this one is a noteworthy one as I've made quite a big addition and a massive change to my setup. And what you are looking at here is the Samsung Q6FN 55 inch QLED smart TV. Now I know what you're thinking. Why have you got a smart TV as your monitor? Well, having a TV as a monitor has been an issue for gamers for quite some time, especially people that want to use the TV as a monitor due to latency issues. But over the years, latency has been improved over time. So it's come down from over 50 milliseconds down to as low as 9 milliseconds now, which is perfectly fine for gaming. Now, the good thing about this screen is native 4K, of course, because that is a resolution I game up. However, it's also got a native 120 hertz panel. So if I want to drop it down to 2560 by 1440 or anything lower than that. I do have 120 hertz support. It does have free sync as well. And um, it's a very, very good multitasking um, screen. So I can use it for TV, of course, and I can also use it as my monitor. And I'm very, very happy with it so far. So I'm just going to quickly go through my setup. Right here, I've got the Blue Yeti, I've got it in black, that's my condenser microphone, this is what I use for most of my recordings. I've got my mechanical mouse and keyboard, I think this is the Corsair um, K95 I believe with brown Cherry MX switches, M65 Pro mouse with sniper button, and of course my main PC, which I use to pretty much create most of my content on my channel. Um, i9-9900K, fully custom water-cooled um, RTX 2080 Ti, Corsair HX1000i power supply, and a Gigabyte Z390 Master motherboard with 32 gigabytes of DDR4, currently running at 3600 MHz, so quite a beast of a PC with over 3 terabytes of SSD storage in there, and over 6 terabytes of normal mechanical storage, so very, very beastly PC it does everything I need it to now you're probably wondering why the little screen here tucked away well this is actually responsible for providing with me with control over my dedicated streaming PC as you can see this is a carbon copy of everything that's going on on this monitor on this TV here sorry I need to get used to saying TV other than monitor it's quite bizarre to start saying that now but believe me gaming on one of these is absolutely amazing the blacks and the colors are so rich qled from samsung is literally the only thing close that can get to oled oled of course has got the superior blacks um because you know all of the pixels can generate their own light but the q uh, quantum dot technology in the samsung qled tvs are amazing the blacks are really 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 good and the colors are so rich it's amazing i'm sure you guys can see it here hopefully it's coming through very very well now back to my dedicated streaming pc i've never shown you this off but down here i've got um what i call nuts and bolts <laughs> this is the nickname i've given it so basically it's a ryzen 7 1700 non-x um it's a gtx nvidia 1060 3 gigabyte 8 gigabytes with ddr4 running at 2666 megahertz Corsair a AX860 power supply with, I'm trying to remember the motherboard, motherboard is the Prime from Asus X370 Pro, so that's what it is, and this is solely responsible for doing all of my dedicated recording, um, so there's absolutely no performance hit from my games, so this software here is the Rec Central 4, this is what you get with the AV Media um hardware and it's only the only thing that can record in hdr at the moment as well which is a big thing for me as you can see i've been doing a lot of hdr uploads which is adding to the library of games that i have on my channel so this actually tells you how much frames per second you're recording at how much cpu utilization memory that's being used you can see the hdr button is there that will only be enabled once i enable hdr on my main pc so that is pretty much a tour of my setup guys Crimson Discord here looking very nice indeed and this mammoth 55 inch 
smart TV that's actually turned out to be an amazing um, experience for me personally. When I'm watching my movies and when I'm playing certain games on this, it's just it's just amazing. I can't really describe it. You'll have to experience it yourself one day if you want to go ahead and get a TV for a monitor then this is one I definitely recommend with the 120 hertz support also the low latency you're getting about 13 milliseconds and you got game mode enabled down to 9 milliseconds if you got 120 hertz 1440p enabled and the maximum you'll get with HDR 4k 6 hertz is about 20 milliseconds so um, very very responsive and sharp and gives you a fantastic image the HDR performance on this monitor is absolute I mean sorry this TV is absolutely amazing Samsung got something called HDR 10 plus um, so it's like a dynamic HDR it won't just go by the metadata if it feels that something needs to be adjusted dynamically it will do so um, just research that if you want to know more so yeah that's pretty much it guys hopefully you like the setup hopefully you like the changes I'm definitely enjoying the setup it's doing a great job for me so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Woo!